A day like this, the only words that come to mind are gratitude, it's a blessing. You know, when I look at this sea of just beautiful faces, it's incredible. And everybody says it's not until your wedding that you see that intersection of both sides of your family. Experiencing today, it is just, it is just love. That's all that I feel. I just ask that we live in the moment. Let's not worry about what we've got to do tomorrow. There's nothing but love in this space and you know, let's just soak it in, live it up. We're blessed and honored that you're here. So thank you all so much. Love you. The pure kindness, the simplicity, the honesty, the love, the caring, it shines through her and it got me hook, line, and sinker. She makes me think about myself and how I can be a better person every single day. She helps me turn the lens inward. She has endeared herself to her family. She has become totally an integral part of her family. And you know, everybody can see that she is beautiful, that is obvious. But what we have found in her is this inner beauty, this kindness, this love that she propagates. So thank you again, Tom and Shrine, for raising such a magnificent girl. We are proud to have you in our family. Before Moet proposed, he came to me and Sharon and said, I'd like your permission to have your daughter's hand in marriage. And I said, Mo, you know how fond we are of you. You've been part of our family for a number of years now. And I think of you as a son. And of course, you have our permission. Mohit has been our treasure and we watched him grow through the years in different countries in Europe and Asia. He has navigated these cultures and become a really amazing young man. He's thoughtful, he's considerate, uh, loving. I am just so, so happy to have a daughter in my life now. Something that I always wanted and I'm just beyond, beyond happy. And I think Mohit, you have done a magnificent job choosing your life partner. Unbelievable. Here is to our beautiful daughter. We love you. We are so proud of you. You are more than what we could have thought. 
to, to have expected. And you found Mohit. He once wrote to me, Love is God, and love is immortal. It precedes and will supersede the birth and death of the cosmos. There is a knowingness in this statement that I can only understand because I have known you and your love. Over the years, we've watched each other bloom, but we have also found shelter in the shade of each other's branches. In the refuge of your love, I've learned that I can withstand all of life's challenges as long as I am by your side. My roots have become inextricably entwined with yours. You are my soulmate, my companion, my best friend, and all of my dreams in another person come true. You have loved me enough for a thousand lifetimes. <laughs> Understanding, appreciating, and adoring you on the deepest of levels is the great joy of my life. I promise to honor and cherish this love you've given to me by reciprocating it to you every day it's my purpose. Just know that you are loved. You will always be loved. I am eternally yours. And I will live and die by your side throughout everything that comes our way. This I promise to you forever as your wife. Rebecca, this is the most beautiful day of my life. Each step we have taken together always side by side, always hand in hand, has led us precisely to this moment. You have always made me so very proud. The person you have become inspires me. I am honored to experience this journey with you. Your kindness is the light that guides me. Your love is my blessing from the universe. Each and every beat of my heart belongs to you. Your emerald eyes make me feel alive. Your gentle smile is all I will ever know. The magic of this world is all around us. Now, let us add our notes to the song. Our love is timeless and eternal. I promise to love and protect you. I promise to cherish your heart and feelings. I promise to treat you with care and respect. I will live each day in service of our love. Let us dance together in this life and the next. I love you, Rebecca, with all of my heart. Om Satyaha Santu Yajmana Sekamaha Om Sobhagya Mastu Shubham Bhavatu Om Swastihi Om Swastihi Om Swastihi Om Swastihi Om Swastihi Om Swastihi By the authority in me vested by the state of Connecticut I now pronounce you husband and wife I'm so overwhelmed.
overwhelmed with the love that I feel today. You know, I just want to thank every single person here for coming. It's just so special and magical to be able to share this all with you and to really, you know, see everyone from different paths in our lives all together. It's just, it's truly really beautiful and I'll remember it always. Let's propose a toast to this magnificent couple. Rebecca and Mona. May your life full of happiness. Here's to a long and prosperous and happy and healthy marriage. We love you all. Thank you.